you if you're watching this video from sometime in the future i'm not sure if the future's that way or that way i am recording this in april 2020 when the world is gripped by the uh, coronavirus bigger than my house but um mine's definitely a lot less drafty if you're, if you're watching this video from sometime in the future i'm not sure if the future's that way or that way i am recording this in april 2020 when the world is gripped by the uh coronavirus um just go google it but basically what that means is right now we're all trying to stay local uh, we're not traveling unnecessarily and we're certainly not taking our mountain bikes to trail centers unless of course there's one on our doorstep there isn't one on my doorstep so i have to enjoy my local trails i'm lucky because i ride around here a lot and i enjoy riding my local trails but there are people that don't ride their local trails they um perhaps all they do is they they get in the car and they go to a trail center and they haven't really explored um, or they've explored and they just haven't explored enough but now because of this uh, lockdown sort of there's plenty of opportunity to explore locally and i'm going to explain one way how you can do that right what i'm going to do today is i'm going to show you an app here called commute right commute as you can see is a a mapping application and you've got lots of settings on here and you can decide how you want to explore, whether you want to, whether you want to hike, mountain bike, run, gravel ride, depending on which one of these you select will be the type of route that Kamut will design for you. So let's obviously select mountain biking and let's assume that we're at my house here and um, what we're going to do is let's say we want to explore where do we want to go let's go to the monument at Cheryl which is right by here I want to set that as my destination okay so what it's immediately done is it's chosen my current location as my start point and it's chosen where I've picked the Lansdowne monument as my end point. Now, what we've got down here, some stats. It's telling me that, um, just so as we can confirm, this is a mountain biking route, and it's telling me down here that it's gonna take me 24 minutes, it's 2.3 miles, and there's about 350 feet of elevation involved. It says it's an easy mountain bike route, Great for any fitness level and suitable for all skill levels. And you can see it gives the technical difficulty and the fitness grading one out of three. Scroll a bit further down, it gives us an elevation profile. It tells us we're gonna be going flat for a little while, drop down, and then that's our climb up to the monument at the top there. I find something easier to point with. Yeah, so we're gonna head along some bridleways here, dip down a little bit, and then up to the monument up here. The next part of this shows us we'll be on single track, paths, cycleways, street and state roads. I'm not quite sure what state road means. Anyway, what this does is it gives you a bit of an idea of the type of terrain that you've got. Unfortunately, between here and uh, here and there, it says there's only 0.34 miles of single track but I do know because I I am local is that uh, these cycleways and paths here are actually bridleways and byways so it's not totally dull and uninteresting so again further down here it shows you that actually 1.8 of the um, of the two point something miles are actually 
unpaved so uh, you can see that we're off-road for, for almost two miles so let's hit the start navigation let's go head east to the starting point on path so these dotted lines are just showing me that currently I'm not actually on a, an official byway or bridleway or anything I'm just in a, a little field by this barn as, a, as, as I've already shown you and then that's the track that it wants me to to follow and as you've just heard with that wonderful voice it's actually going to give me turn by turn instructions just like a sat nav now let's pause it a minute and go back so as we said this says it's going to take me 24 minutes well let's assume i've got a bit longer maybe i want to find somewhere else to go on the way so let's go back into the map so let's just say that on on the way to the monument i want to go somewhere else what's this here there's a archaeological site there let's go and have a look at what that is let's include that on the route so what it's done now is it's rerouted me via this point and added a, a few more minutes to my journey and about 0.6 of a mile 0.7 of a mile so what this is doing basically is giving me a route to somewhere that I don't know how to get to all of these tracks and paths that it's going along are going to be bridleways and byways all legal places that I can ride on my bike now you'd seen in the other section there if I'd put this to walking or hiking it would actually then include footpaths so okay so we've we've made our way to the monument maybe we want to head down into this little village here and let's include that on the route as well we're now plotting a route all around here I think you're probably getting the idea what this is doing is it's allowing me to plot a route and I can be comfortable in the fact that this is going to actually take me somewhere somewhere that's safe and um, and legal so these should all be roads bridleways byways etc all places that I should be allowed to go now Kamut has a few options let's go we go right so Kamut has a few payable options so I'm using if I just show you here this is unlocked I'm using this is the uh, the free version so the free version allows me to pick one region and have that available offline to me so I've got the Chippenham region offline because I live near Chippenham and uh, this gives me 823 square miles of map so you can see I've unlocked Chippenham and this shows me the region that Chippenham covers so this gives me a fair bit of space from Chippenham almost to Bath all the way around here Marlborough Wooden Bassett quite a few uh, quite a few spots and all of that is available absolutely free of charge so anyway I'm now gonna head home because this isn't really where I live and we're gonna go via the monument and um, we'll let Kamut give me some directions honest um, so I don't know if that was any use to you um, I think it's quite a useful app um, you can then save and share the routes. You can add photos to your route as you go, and you can um, you can write some notes along there if you want to. So if you wanted to do it again, you can then share it with somebody else. You know, tell them of perhaps perhaps there might be bridleways that are actually closed. You can report those in the app as well. So there's plenty of things that you can do with this. So um, if you want to know a bit more, drop me a message below, and I will um, and I'll try and help out. But basically, this is called Kamut. You can download it for iOS or Android, and you can use most of this offline. I'm not sponsored or anything by them. As I said, it was free, so um, I just like it. It's quite quite good. So, uh, yeah, get out and explore locally. No nah, no far. No nah, not far, and no car.